A building on White Rock Lake has gone through a number of changes over the years. It was eventually repurposed as a cultural center, and in today's Texas Treasures, Russ McCaskey takes us to the bathhouse, a unique piece of Dallas history. The Dallas Bathhouse Cultural Center has an amazing location. It sits on the east shores of White Rock Lake with a direct view of downtown Dallas. Built in 1930, the bathhouse goes back to the days when swimming in the lake was not only allowed, but also encouraged. And it wasn't just swimming, there were dances and concerts, and um, so it was quite the happening area, and boat races out on the lake. Marty Van Cleek is the manager of the bathhouse. She says in the 30s and 40s, it was the place to see and be seen. But then came the 50s, and swimming was banned on the lake. Polio was very prevalent back then, and um, they were thinking that perhaps the polio might be being spread through the water, and also the fact that they needed to use this water for drinking water now. Um, they closed the lake to swimming. With that, the bathhouse was shuttered. For 25 years, this Art Deco building sat vacant. Then activists got the city of Dallas to save it, and in 1981, the bathhouse reopened as a neighborhood cultural center. All right, tell us about this room. What's in here? This is actually, again, we're in the men's locker room, the former men's locker okay. room, and this is um, our main art gallery. On the south side of the building, which was once the men's locker room, there are two gallery spaces showcasing work from local artists. Then there's the north side of the building. This was locker. the women's locker room. So swimmers would come here and exactly. change clothes. Change clothes. You could rent a bathing suit for 25 cents. <laughs> That's a good price. Now it's a 116 seat theater. And while the bathhouse already has a lot to offer, it's about to get a $1.5 million renovation. So, this is going to hit some highlights and it's going to make it much prettier from the outside. Um, it'll make it much more user friendly. And uh, we're so excited. We can't wait to have a, a grand reopening. <laughs> oh, look at this view. Is this fabulous? Yeah. The plan is for the bathhouse to shut down for about four months for repairs. And if all goes well, by summer, this 90-year-old Texas treasure will shine brightly again. It really is a, it's a, a jewel for, for Dallas, isn't it? I think it's the crown jewel. <laughs> <laughs> Russ McCaskey, CBS 11 News. And the city has to sign off on the final approval. That should happen a little bit later this month, so we will see. Yeah, I want to bring in our chief meteorologist, Scott Padgett, talk a little bit about...